Enter the exotic world of the reptile house, where you'll find slithering snakes such as the Burmese python and the boa constrictor. You can see the terrapins and the snapping turtles splashing in their pool. Well, we do have a heating system in place. The heating runs through all the enclosures, so which keeps the temperature all the time. Across from them is a vivarium full of active tortoises. So what's the difference between turtles, terrapins and tortoises? Well, they have a few things in common. They're all members of the Colonian order. This comes from the Greek word kelon, which means interlocking shields or armor. Of course, there's a referring to their tough shells which protect them from harm. Tortoises spend the vast majority of their time on land and will only occasionally submerge themselves in water to drink or clean. Turtles, on the other hand, spend most of their time in the water with some species only coming on land to lay eggs. You can see the zoo's snapping turtle hiding in the deep end of the pool. Terrapins is a word used to describe semi-aquatic turtles. They divide their time between living on land and swimming in the water. They can be found in exotic marshy areas. The Burmese python is the reptile house's biggest snake and also one of the five largest species of snake in the world. As I said, yeah, it takes five people to carry the Burmese. And unfortunately, I used to be able to lift her myself. I now can't. She's got so big since I've been here over the six years. I can't lift her myself. Probably about five foot since I've been here, um, I'd say. Cause she's, she's roughly, let's say, 16 foot now. She needs measuring again. 